So we're going to start with a bleed of uh, our mechanical hydraulic clutch, not jack. So a few things that you'll need to do to start with would be to level the master cylinder and prepare it to uh, start the bleed process. So I'll, I'll take an 8 millimeter wrench and loosen my master cylinder and level it so I can get in and out of the master cylinder without too much spillage and mess. Try to reduce my mess by using paper towels as much as possible. The slave cylinder, I want to remove it so I can handle in my hand and manipulate it as e make it easier as, as easy as possible for myself. So I'll start with line removal, as simple as this. Some of the fitment. To remove the slave cylinder, you'll need to use a tool. So you want to grab the arm and relieve the tension on the unit sliding the rod and the boot out of the holding bracket. Pivot your rod out and around and now once all the spring tensions off of this arm you can pivot it directly on top of it and it allows it easily to slip off. It's as simple as pressing the tubing on the nipple, cracking open the bleed nipple itself. The procedure you'll want to start with is a pull just to remove any air that may be residing in this assembly here. And you can see the air is pulling out now. I'm able to just pull in the syringe and create a little bit of vacuum and pull that air right out. I have enough fluid in the master cylinder to where I will not suck it dry. And as I push, I'll pull here so as to just adjust my fluid volume. And I'll go the opposite way. By pulling, fluid level drops, and I add. So it's an easy procedure, just takes a little practice. Tighten my fitting. Make sure I'm tight. Clean up. I always recommend a bit of just rubbing alcohol. It's inexpensive, removes all oil and simply doesn't leave a residue. A real quick and easy positioning. Again, your split ferrule. Position it with the large end for the nipple. Your arm here, directly in line with it. I have a tool that helps me leverage this arm spring tension. And through a slot underneath the mounting bracket. Slip it in. You're good to go. You'll want to check a couple of things. Your free play, basically by pulling the slave out, as far as it will go, you should have three to five millimeters of free play. This one's on about the end of its, about the extreme end of its, about at five millimeters. So anywhere in there allows this system to operate and deal with your heat. You're expanding clutch plates, repositions the piston in here so that it allows that heat affected positioning to adjust and not affect where your engagement point is on your master cylinder. Also there must be movement here to allow this rod to not bind through its stroke. Move my probe leader, the fluid flows back into the can. Simple as that. I'll remove, I'll uh, replace my master cylinder's cap, and we're done. Let's check the clutch actuation, see if it feels good. No, oh, beautiful. Nice and easy pull, long lasting, good to go.